All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. Ugh, these skin rashes. They're getting better, but it still aches a little bit. Ugh. So anyway, my video is uh, out a lot later than I would normally like. I mean, it's already 9.29 a.m. I've been, uh, for some reason, I've actually been sleeping about nine, nine and a half hours the uh, past few nights. Even though I've been playing Fallout 4 again, because... A younger family member of mine is starting to actually play uh, Fallout, so I was like, you know what, maybe it's time to spin up the old game a bit. Uh, but I've been getting great night's sleep, so I, I couldn't ask for more, and I've been losing weight too, you know. So I, I can definitely tell that, yeah, eating processed food is not only bad because of the chemicals, but also because it probably actually messes up your eating and sleeping uh, habits too. But if you eat actual real food, all right, so for example, ground beef, or, you know, chicken breast, you know, minimally processed, basically no chemicals, it's just actual raw meat. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I feel like I don't have, I only, I'm only eating two meals a day, right? And I'm still doing the jump rope stuff, so, yeah, it's good, it's good. Hopefully I'll be able to drop like 30, 40 pounds in a couple months and that'll be that, all right? And of course, let's uh, hope I don't have to move in on my mom and dad again. All right, so this is good. Alright, so I don't really have too many new updates for you. Uh, I'm actually going to link out to this Twitter thread in case you want to read it. Because um, I've been wanting to get some more info about the real estate markets overall, but it's like going to be so freaking hard to find something uh, quick, easy, condensed, but has a lot of detail, like straight to the point. So, this, so I saw an article on Yahoo Finance that then linked to this guy's tweet thread. So he's got like a lot of really good, you know... Like, apparently he does, like, just a couple of states, right? You, know, you got St. Louis, San Diego, Reno, which is Reno, Nevada, I think, Phoenix, Arizona, Nashville, Tennessee. I don't know where Melbourne... I don't think he means Melbourne, Australia, but there's probably, like, whatever. Here's Pennsylvania, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. So, basically, I'll link to it, but basically I already read it off stream. Real estate prices, they're coming down. Homing st home building starts... And construction is slowing down or even going down. Uh, construction uh, companies are like uh, doing something called, we want to roll back our costs because I guess they have to have some sort of agreement with suppliers for raw materials. So everything's cooling off. Some are crashing, etc., etc. But, you know, everything's, I know that everything's going to get worse because they have to keep raising interest rates. So what do you think it's gonna, they're going to do? Now, that being said, I do have to factor this in. Uh, you know, the central banks are actually manipulating the debt markets. So this obviously will have a direct impact on 30-year mortgages, typically. So, yeah, Dow falls as Wall Street weighs growth concerns, looks ahead to earnings. So because we have a really strong dollar, that's actually going to really damage earnings, because that's what Greg Manorino has been saying, and that makes sense. If you're McDonald's, you're global, right? So 70% of your income or 60% of your income comes from outside the United States. So that means the money that you're earning outside the United States is worth a lot less now because the U.S. dollar is just too freaking strong, right? It takes more foreign dollars to buy U.S. dollars. So then we're in a recession, right? And part of the market probably knows that, right? Especially if they're following the GDP now thingy, right? Last estimate, negative 1.2%. Yeah, so they actually did update the negative GDP twice, uh, two days in a row. So now it's actually negative 1.2% for quarter two. So they're basically saying that we're in a recession, yes, but not as bad. Okay. Uh, I mean, in a way, I think, I mean, as much as I don't like to admit that, I think that is somewhat true. I mean, does it really feel that bad? I mean, I know inflation sucks, but aside from that, I mean, everything does seem to be normal. All right, people are still spending, which is not as much, not nearly as much. My credit cards still work, my debit cards still work, you know, the banking system still works, the system's still liquid. I mean, it's just, yeah, all right? It's, just, it's really just the inflation that's really hitting people. Now, what's interesting is, even though yesterday was a pretty negative down day, the markets are actually up today, especially the NASDAQ. So, I mean... I don't know how much of this is the central banks buying... Okay, I gotta get rid of this red thing. It's distracting. I don't know how much of the stock markets are being bought up by the central banks right now because I know they're concentrating on buying up the debt market in anticipation of apparently a full possible one... Not a lot... Not likely yet, but a possible 1% increase. 
I mean, I still just put out a tweet to make it clear to everyone that I still think that inflation is going to come in lower than expected <clears throat> because the consensus is 8.6%, right, which is 0.3% higher than what we had in June. But we already did the video showing that commodity prices and now real estate prices, everything's been coming down, especially in June, but sometimes in May also for certain commodity products. So, I mean... Even though I know the White House yesterday said the, what's her name, Katrina, I don't know, the black lady that's the spokeswoman, right? She even said, oh yeah, inflation is going to come and roll pretty hot and really high tomorrow, right? For, for, I mean, in two days, because that was yesterday, and that's tomorrow. So, you know, when people go, holy shit, the inflation is actually lower, oh man, you know, things are going to take off. So that's what I'm really going to be looking for here. Like, are the markets going to take off? Because they might be thinking the same thing. Or they might get inside info, right? There's always an insider uh, info. There's always insider trading. Especially when you get very close to a very major uh, news event. Like the CPI report tomorrow. Uh, in fact, where do I... I mean, we don't... CPI... I know it's Bureau of Labor Statistics. Uh, 610, okay. News releases. Well, they haven't released anything. Yep, so it's going to be tomorrow. Oh, man, 8.30 a.m. So I might, my video might be a little bit later than, than normal tomorrow because I want to I see what the effect this is going to have and then also go through my own data. All right, so... Let's see, 12th month percentage change, CPI uh, not seasonally adjusted, all items less food and energy, 6%, major categories, energy, 34.6%, jeez. So the vast majority of our inflation really is coming from the energy manipulation, which makes sense. Uh, oh, that's the other thing too, the most obvious uh, commodity everyone's looking at is this. Crude oil, which continues to tank like crazy. All right, if I open this in a new window. All right, let's look at uh, let's just look at six months. So here, here's June eighth. Then it just it just declines. Now in May, it starts going up. Uh, I mean it's still pretty high, but it has been coming down. So uh, I don't know. I mean we'll just have to see. So those big banks, uh, you know, their long positions in crude oil, they're not going to be doing too well. <laughs> All right. PDBC is down a lot. Yeah, see, commodity prices are wrong. See, what I like about PDBC is they, since they buy a bunch of commodities, I could actually use this as a pretty good rough estimate of the overall commodities market uh, picture, you could say. And it's down. So prices are coming down. Prices are coming down. Oh. Huh. Well, my my put option on Twitter isn't going to do so great. <laughs> Actually, it just kind of jumped out of nowhere. Hmm. Uh, Twitter said the uh, trend deal is invalid. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Well, I mean, I'll bounce back on Twitter. I mean, I only spent like 100 bucks on the Twitter put. So, you know, it's going to last for three months. I know I want to sell it before a court order comes down, so we'll just have to see. They're obviously going to be trading barbs. And Crypto will actually, uh, or is it? No. Crypto Capo actually said that Twitter is going to crash to... Oh, yeah. She's actually a pretty nice person. I didn't actually think uh, she would follow me. Apparently, she's become like a blockchain person. She used to do, like, news or something. Like, Palestinian stuff, I think. Oh, I don't know. I, don't know. I just I just remember her name. I know Mike Cernovich really uh, respects her a lot too, but she just seems like a nice person. So, so thank you to Adele. I doubt she's watching this, but uh, wait, where? Yeah, here it is. So this is May twenty. Man, this thing is. Yeah, he hasn't updated any of this. First the chart, then the news. Yeah, he doesn't really do much with Twitter. Envy is now saying, yeah, you won't have all your I try to have all those people got. Actually, I will retweet that. That is actually good advice. Yeah, it's also Christian advice, too, because, you know, never compare yourself to others. I mean, unless you're trying to just do, like, something factual, but there's no ego involved. Like, oh, how did we do this and do that? Oh, that's what we're doing. Okay, let's try to 
figure out how to, you know, build a better boat or something, right? A better building, right? But it's like, oh, that person's got a million dollars and I don't. Oh, life sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah don't do that. That, that. That's that's exactly what you want to avoid. Bouts from the mid-range. Well, I expect bad news for Twitter. Now, this was May 26th, so he's expecting somewhere around $18. I would love that. Oh, but if I look at the time on this... Man, this is June, which is right now, or July. Oh, man. Might be a couple months. Shit. So I might not have long enough duration on my put, but it's just a small gamble. So, I mean, 100 bucks is 100 bucks, but, you know. Oh, well. I'll probably, you know, decide next week, because I actually don't want to hold this three-month option uh, put on Twitter for that much longer, you know, so... Anyway, I really don't have much to say. It looks like the markets are actually going to be uh, up quite a bit. So, Saco has zero slides toward dollar parity, rising interest rate, crushing U.S. market. Yep, that's what we have. Some being uh, tech are outright cheap. Yeah, so I did finish my thought before, but I think the markets might be pricing in that things will be getting better in three to six months, which is good because that means you and I will be doing uh, making more money. You know, I could stave off going uh, back home to mom and dad. Now, one thing before I'll end this, how long have I been rambling? 11 minutes and a half. All right. One thing I've been noticing is despite all the bad things that are happening that's being said, inflation, interest rate hikes, you know, commodity prices coming out, et cetera, et cetera, I've actually been noticing that cryptocurrency prices have been not going down that much. Like, it's showing signs of extreme resistance to the downside. So, I don't know. The only thing left that I could think of could actually be the GDP report coming in a negative later this month, all right? And then we'll be in a, and then we can declare ourselves uh, in an official recession. Now, with that being said, the Atlanta Fed GDP now is actually saying that it's not that bad, all right? They're constantly updating this, so this might actually be the other thing too. The markets were like, "Oh man, we're in a really bad recession." But, oh, no, wait, the GDP now from the Atlanta Fed is actually saying it's not that bad. Oh, because this number is higher than before. So that could also be putting up some upward pressure on the stock markets. So, you know, if you're shorting the market, I would seriously consider probably, like, maybe pulling it back a little bit. All right, that's why I only have one share of SPDF. I know Greg's still putting on the markets, but I don't know. I'm thinking that... Uh, from what I'm seeing, the, the, the central banks have it covered, right? They're covering everything. And the reason why they're probably buying up the debt market so much is because when they raise interest rates later this month, on July 27th, they know that the U.S. debt uh, yields are going to be skyrocketing like crazy. So they're getting ahead of the curve, right? So, uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, supposed to, here's the problem. If these things are – if they're buying up debt at this shitty yield – but the real price of a ten year, if the real yield of a ten U.S. ten year yield is gonna be like three point seventy five. I mean, the Fed has to hold all this crappy debt, which of course is massively inflationary. And here's the thing. I mean, they've not been updating the money supply numbers. I'm still waiting on that. Uh, Fed's balance sheet. Now this is interesting. Okay, so this is of July twenty. July 6th. Now, this is interesting. So, their balance sheet has actually been going down. Wow, not bad considering they've been buying up the U.S. debt markets. So, shit, where am I? God, I have so, there's so many tabs to keep track of. Oh, this is interesting because we know in June they were manipulating the hell out of the U.S. debt markets. They're still doing it now, yet the federal balance sheet is coming down. So unless they're lying about it, I think um, they said that they were rolling off something, right? Mortgage-backed security. So I guess they ro I guess they have so much of that stuff that that rolling off and going off their balance sheet is still much greater than the amount of debt that they're buying from the U.S. debt market. So, yeah, it's no wonder the central banks are buying up, you know, the U.S. debt markets. Because, funny enough, they actually have the money and room to do it. So this is actually deflationary. Oh, I mean, assuming that this is all correct, yeah, it's not going to be that bad. 
it's not going to be that bad. Because whatever Greg Manorino knows, the Federal Reserve and its ECB has to know too. And probably know more than Greg. Right? But they did, but they're the feds and the central banks are the ones in charge. So I don't know. I'm not making any major bets for tomorrow either way. I just like to guess that inflation is going to come in lower than expected tomorrow. I mean, inflation still could be pretty high. Don't get me wrong. All right? It's just not going to be 8.6%. It's just going to be less than that. Right? Maybe it'll be like 8%. Which is still really high, but it's lower than expected. And what matters is lower. It's the expectation that matters, and then the markets go up. And then I'm curious to see what effect this has on this. All right. I mean, people are probably going to definitely say, "Oh yeah, it's not going to be a one percent jump. It's going to maybe be this, or maybe it might still be a pretty big jump." I mean, it, the, the, the inflation rate is still way too high. So, but this is surprising to me. This is surprising to me. All right. Their balance sheet has been coming down. So, in fact, it's been coming down a lot. Well, let's try year to date. Yeah, that's actually a pretty big drop, actually. Wow. This is new information for you. I'm going to need some time to, you know, ponder on these things. All right. Anyway, it's 9.45 a.m. I want to let everyone go. I got to get, get with my day. I got to manage all my crap, too. Uh, so, like, subscribe, share this video around. Thank you again to all the old and new people watching this video. Welcome, welcome, and thank you again. And again, i like to actually thank all the nice people from Stable Fun app, the nice ones, that actually have been supporting my, my video on that, because I was actually really pissed off, like, you know, that I was doing all these nice things and saying nice things, and then just a couple assholes from that community just decide to trash it, and it's like, okay, what the... You know, what the F. Uh, so that's good. And now I feel much better. You know, so thank you to the, the, you, stable fun people. And yes, my opinion still has not changed. It's still a good project, all right? You know, I'm a little bit nervous about the Polygon part of the contract, but that's because it's been out for a while now, a few months, and people are probably, like, compounded up the wazoo, so they're draining the hell out of it. But they get replenished, too, so, you know, all right. But so far, so good. I mean, the, the guy could just rug pull at any moment, but so far he hasn't done that. And the BUSD contract continues to gain strength. Even after he pulled five, six hundred grand to fund his uh, third bot, I think he said. I think it's the third one. But it was definitely for funding his bot, so... All right, you know, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, and never mind, maybe the markets will not be skyrocketing today. Uh, I don't know. I just want to see Twitter go down. I want my put. I want this thing to be like twenty bucks, and I sell my put, and then just buy more stocks or something. Uh, yeah. So that's about it. All right. So I'm gonna leave this window open for tomorrow. I'll actually link to these two links, and then you know, I don't know. You're planning to trade tomorrow's news event. I mean, good luck. I'm staying out of it. I mean, I'm just you know, I'm just an observer. All right. Right now, I'm just. Very whatever. So Jeffy's doing good, and JP Morgan C class is doing all right. Yeah, and the U.S. dollar is starting to cool off. So, oh, well, I'll say one last thing. Chuck Barone yesterday said that eventually this dollar strength should stop once central banks start raising interest rates, specifically Europe, because Europe has to raise their interest rates to deal with their inflation, right? In fact, you know, Germany inflation is really insane. So that will increase demand for euro, and then that's why euros will go back up. But he's even thinking about playing a a short-term play on the euro, like buying euros now, and then get the interest rate increase later, and then you know make a quick uh, buck on that. I'm not going to do it because I don't do, I don't deal with foreign currency anymore. All right, I've rambled on long enough. See you all tomorrow. Thank you again, uh, and well, uh, enjoy the rest of your day or night, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks.